Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Griffin, better known as a fanatical futurist. I'm also the founder and CEO of the 311 Institute, the World Futures Forum, and Exponential University. Now, as a futurist, I look up to 50 years out. I explore the implications of over 450 exponential technologies, hundreds of megatrends on every sector in every geography. And it's my honor and privilege to be joining you at the Go Beyond event in Orlando in a couple of weeks' time. Now, I'm going to be on a real stage, I see, at the event, that's it, but just as a little bit of a teaser, these are some of the things that I'm going to be having a conversation with you about, particularly as it relates to chemicals. Now, when we have a look at the chemical industry, there are a number of upticking trends. There are a lot more, but these are some of them. Firstly, we have robo-labs, where unlike working at Aviva, it is all work, work, work. There is no playtime, there is no coffee break, there is no canteen for you to go to. It's a little bit like lockdown, I suppose, really. Uh, we also have robo-scientists. Now, you should be able to guess what these actually are. Now, these are artificial intelligences that are increasingly able to conquer science in a variety of different ways. Now, within the chemicals industry, we're actually increasingly tag-teaming robo-scientists with human scientists to develop new compounds faster. This is also a trend that if you combine it with homorphic encryption could actually lead to the open source R&D basically of the entire industry. Now, in addition to that, we have simulation. Now, on the one hand, basically we actually have process simulation that you'll all be familiar with, but we also have the simulation of everything. So life itself. Now, when I talk about life, we have artificial intelligences today that are able to simulate the smallest biochemical interactions within our cells. And then, of course, we can scale that up to include the laws of physics, the laws of nature, and all manner of other things. We can also increasingly use simulated virtual reality worlds to create new compounds. So, again, this is another trend that impacts research and development within the industry. We also have synthetic biology. Now, you might think that this is a slightly odd one to include basically, when we're having a conversation about the future of this industry. However, increasingly, more and more organizations are experimenting with what we call biomanufacturing. Now, biomanufacturing is a trend where we tweak the genomes of particular animals and organisms, especially bacteria and microbes, in the hope to, that we can get them to produce new chemicals and new things. So, for example, new drugs, new materials, and if you're NASA, new building materials that increasingly NASA as an organization are going to try to use to build new buildings on the moon as part of their moon base plans, obviously. Um, so, and then finally, that's it, and we have a lot more at the actual event itself. This one ups the game on everything. Today, we have the emergence of quantum computers. Quantum computers are hundreds of millions times faster than any other kind of computer on the planet. To give you a little taste of their power, recently we've had Google as well as researchers in China that have managed to get quantum computers to perform and solve calculations in seconds that would have taken even the world's largest supercomputers over two and a half to three and a half billion years, depending on the equations that they were actually running. Now, increasingly, even though quantum computing is actually a relatively nascent trend, quantum computers are already getting very, very good when it comes to synthetic chemistry, which again, yes, you might have guessed by now, accelerates research and development within the industry. So these are just a couple of the little trends I said I'm going to be having conversations with you about that you're going to be exploring the meaning of. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. Take care. I'm out. Bye.